There are a whole bunch of Aussie actors who call Los Angeles home, and without a doubt, one of our favourites is Hugh Sheridan. He first shot to fame 12 years ago on the show Packed to the Rafters. Well, now it's coming back, this time on Amazon Prime. We caught up with him about the show and about getting the call up to host G'day USA. Thank you so much for joining us, Hugh Sheridan. We miss you back home, but lovely to see you here in LA. Thank you. Now, you got the call up to do one of the, the most exciting hosting gigs, G'day USA, the gala here in LA. Um, what was it like? How'd it go? Well, initially when they first asked me, it was months and months before the fires started, and uh, we had planned a big opening with my band, the California Crooners Club, and it was going to be a big, fun night. Um, but obviously, when the bushfires spread and it started to devastate Australia, we decided to turn it into a benefit fundraiser. And we're really, really glad that we did because it was a very poignant and meaningful uh, G'day USA. Yeah, and absolutely amazing to be able to, to do something when you, when you feel sort of like disconnected from everything that's going on. Like, yeah. It's amazing that all of the community sort of rally behind. And, yeah, know. I mean, as soon as um, you know, the fires started to spread, I was overseas at the time and um, immediately I started planning a fundraiser which happened the day after G'day, uh, which was my own personal one, but um, it was it was just incredible just to see all people from all different walks of life, all, all different communities. I have friends that ha like go to schools in the hills and they did fundraisers. Everyone was just completely brought together by... Uh, you know, this horrible tragedy. Now, you've, you're a very busy man. You're jet-setting all over the place. You're based here, Australia, wherever the wind takes you. Yeah, um, I, you know, I always say all my crap's here. <laughs> <laughs> all my stuff's here in Los Angeles and I have pets and things like that, poor things that hardly ever get to see me. Don't worry, they're well looked after. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm actually mainly in Australia at the moment. I'm there shooting um, Back to the Rafters now for Amazon and another show which I won't talk about because I'm 10. <laughs> and I'm also touring with my band, the California Crooners Club as well. Oh, so, how exciting. Yeah, so I'm back and forth a lot. And how amazing is it to be an actor at this time when the streaming services are putting so much effort into making their own content? Like, packed to the rafters on Amazon, that's incredible. Yeah, I know. It, was, it just seemed like um, the right move for the show and it's great that now we can share it with the world because, um, you know, obviously Australia loved it, but... No one else knows. Although I lose my anonymity, I think. Yeah. I might have to move somewhere <laughs> further, maybe to the Amazon. You're doing shows at the Adelaide Fringe Festival as well. Tell me about that. I am. Uh, so I'm doing two shows at the Adelaide Fringe this year. I'm doing my band, the California Greeners Club, which um, has been a hit for the last few years. And then this year I decided to do my own show, which is called Hugh Sheridan Unplugged, which is basically Ooh. an expose on my life and just uh, how my life's gone. A lot of people don't know, but you know, I started at the Australian Ballet School and then went to NIDA before going on to rafters and it's quite a lot in there and I also want to talk about uh, you know my personal side of when my brother was in Nepal and how hard that was for me and how long it took me to sort of get over that whole experience and then that goes together with the soundtrack that um, influenced my whole life and then there's going to be a lot of songs that I wrote as well that are quite personal that I've never shared before so I'm looking forward to that. Oh that'll be gorgeous. Yeah. Well we love you and thank you so much for all of the work and fundraising that you've been doing over thank here. You. I know everyone back home really appreciates it. Oh well it's the least that we can do and everyone's doing such an amazing job and I guess the one sort of silver lining of this massive tragedy is just seeing how it brings people together and how we you know, we can stop and realise what's actually important in life. And I think, you know, being in Australia, I was there last week and I just, and you know, it was, it's still intense with the, the ash, you know, in Sydney. And I just noticed everyone's really friendly and people are really sort of looking out for each other. And I think that that's at least one positive that we can pull from this horrendous, mm. horrendous tragedy. Yeah. Yes, he's a very busy boy, our Hugh, and you can get tickets to his Adelaide Fringe shows right now. And that drama, uh, you know, previously called Pack to the Rafters, the reboot, creatively named Back to the Rafters, will be streaming on Amazon Prime. It's the first local production, so very good news for Aussie fans of television. And uh, he is what you like to call a triple threat, Hugh Sheridan. Sure is. I love your set there in the Hollywood Hills. It's just magnificent. Thank you. Thank you. I did Are you it myself. Come home anytime soon? No, no absolutely She's not. Very happy over absolutely there. not. Very happy. That's why I've neglected calling my mother because uh, she'll be asking the same thing. <laughs> nah, smart.